All right, today I went yard selling. I had spent about $140 up until my buddy Creaker sent me a message and said, hey, there's a guy that's got some old style cartridge games, N64. He also had Wii and uh, NES, Super Nintendo, etc. And he's doing bundle deals. So it took me a minute to find him. But once I found him, I realized I knew the guy. He's a buddy of mine that I've been seeing at yard sales for a couple of years. He doesn't resell, but he uh, he buys stuff for his kids. And uh, he said, I've had this stuff for a while. I start looking at it. We start talking price. And um, he said that uh, he wanted a couple hundred bucks for one box, 150 for another box, 150 for another one. And then he kept going in and getting more stuff. And so I'm going to show you what I bought. I ended up buying it all. I left one... I think Super Nintendo or Nintendo system because I just have so many I don't need another one and there was already one in this deal. So we did a bundle deal and I spent everything I had left in my pocket. Uh, I didn't give him what he wanted. He said, I said, I'll buy it all, take it away right now. He said, because you're the cap guy, I'm going to do the deal. All I had left in my pocket was $416. And, um, he looked at me, he thought about it for a minute, and he said, let's do the deal because you're the cap guy. And gave me the elbow bump. And now I'm going to show you what I found or what I got. And I've already comped it all after I just woke up from a nap. Whew, I was up at 420 this morning. So I was a tired puppy by the time I got home. But we're going to go through this. And I'm going to tell you what it's all worth because I've looked it all up. And uh, here we go. Hang on to your seat, folks. This ship's taking off now. I'm at a state sale. I got a bunch of stuff already because I had to jump in here and somebody was here ahead of me and I got there before him and got some of the ball caps that I wanted. He wanted the John Deere K products and he got it, but I got the Bob Wills. And those you don't see every day. I think you wanted more, but I kind of got to them. So now I'm looking around. There's some old stuff in here for sure. I wonder if this fin's worth anything. Oh, those are one-time flash cameras. I bet those are worth something. What do you think? Dollar a piece? Oh, well, I got up at uh, 4.20 this morning because I went to the bathroom and saw, looked at my phone to see if I had any sales, and I had one. And I decided, well, Look at Facebook real quick, because that's when the sales pop up. And I saw an estate sale, and the first thing I see is a bunch of vintage ball caps. I saw John Deere, I saw Bob Wills, and the Texas Playboys, and I knew I needed to be there. It said, do not come early. Come at, uh, do not come before eight. Well, I did. And uh, I went to some other sales. I was at my first sale at 6.30 after I put out the video. Took my shipping with me. Uh, because getting up at 4.30 means nap for sure. <laughs> and uh, anyway, I uh, I went yard selling and I got a few things. And then I ran for the estate sale about 7.30. And when I got there, the doors were open and it said, don't come early. But there were people moving around. So I thought they had opened and I walked up to the driveway and I said, are you open? The lady said, not really, but you can go ahead and look. And I said, well, I'm really here after the ball caps. Well, there was a gentleman that was parked outside and I say, gentlemen, he wasn't too happy with me because I had it for the ball caps. And then I, he got out of the car and apparently he was after him too. And he had been there a few minutes before me. So I heard him yell it as he was coming in. I was here 15 minutes ago, blah, blah, blah. And uh, he grabbed the John Deere right away and it was a K products, which that's okay. I'm not worried about that, but I wanted the Bob Wills. And uh, they're not three stripers or anything, but they are vintage. I ended up getting about three or four Bob Wills and a Hank Thompson. So I don't know what the value is. 
I wasn't upset because technically he got there before me, but there wasn't no way I was letting him grab all those hats. So, shame on me, maybe. I'll be back. You know what, I decided to kind of let you see the neighborhood. Uh, not my neighborhood, but um, I don't know if this person's gonna pull out in front of me. Yes, of course they are. I guess stop signs don't mean anything in that neighborhood. another neighborhood one I'm going to hit on the way home as I go through the town of Mustang, Oklahoma, which is about six miles south of me. And again, I'm having mine tomorrow. And uh, so what I'll do is go home, go through this stuff, probably around noon, I'll lay down for about an hour. And then I got to start getting stuff prepared to set up everything. Uh, for the sale tomorrow and we'll be doing that through the night and then open the doors in the morning for one day only but a lot of my death or opportunity pile stuff will go in there um, and uh, a lot of my uh, uh, stuff that's not selling in my eBay store light bulbs and stuff like that I'll, I'll let go and then um, oh I forgot I picked up a couple of putters a ping and a another one um, today and uh, the ping can be worth quite a bit of money the other one is the Odyssey putter so not bad for $15 total and then some 60 HP film for 50 cents color so that'll be a good that's a that'll be a good seller too so hey just pick it up and uh, once you know a little bit about what you're doing you're gonna be able to uh, not have to look everything up. My suggestion is to look it up unless it's really cheap and unique. If it's unique and cheap, take a chance on it for a buck or two or 50 cents. But if it's uh, if it's something you don't know and they want quite a bit, I bought a pair of Nike uh, high tops that are multicolored and multi-logoed. And I looked up the SKU code in the Nikes and I cannot find these particular pair. Apparently they were a limited edition run. They'll need a little bit of cleaning up, but uh, she wanted 10. I tried to get them for eight, but they didn't want to go down today. They said they would tomorrow, but I didn't want to let them go. I'm, I'm going to take a chance on them. My guess is I'll get at least 10, uh, but that's not my goal. My goal is to make some money. So we'll see. And uh, what's going on here? Oh, donuts. I can't have donuts. I'm on keto. I'm on keto. I'm on keto. I can't have donuts. No dog nuts for me. I'm passing yard sales because I've got plenty already. And again, I haven't spent a lot of money today like I normally do. I brought about 500 plus with me, but like I said, I've only spent about 60. I really haven't found any video games to speak of. Uh, matter of fact, I don't think I found any. And uh, that's okay, because you're not always gonna find them. And if you're not one of the first, you're probably not gonna get them anyway. Sometimes you just find the vintage stuff. Man, there's a ton of yard sale signs right here. So I'm going to, I say I'm going home, but I don't know. There's a lot of yard sale signs right around here. Sure wish they'd have been out here yesterday. I would have cleaned up without everybody else being out. And that's kind of why I like to have my yard sale on Saturday only. Last year I did it two days and it just, it wears you out. Um, I'd rather do it one day, make the money, and will and deal and get rid of it, and not have to open a second day. But, hey, tell me how you do it when you have a yard sale. Most people do it two or three days. I just don't want to drag it out this year. And uh, I'd rather be doing this, and that's why I'm out on Friday, because that's the day I really want to be out yard selling. Uh, I really hate having them. All right, so the first one we're going to cover is Super, or uh, not Super, but regular Nintendo uh, NES. And uh, I'm going to show you these games. There's 21 games in this lot. Mike Tyson's Punch Out's the most valuable. That's a $60 game. And then I'm going to scroll down through here. Kind of be like Chase after the right price, although I'm not in his league and when it comes to this stuff. Paperboy is a pretty good game. Jurassic Park. 
I've got two actually of the Super Mario 3 and 2, and then Duck Hunt. I've got the game, some controllers, and that's one of the uh, NES uh, 101 top loaders. I'd never seen that console before. That console is worth, um, uh, let's see, what was it? 153 bucks sold, and these are all sold comps. Not count the cases or anything. And then the rest of the games, again, I have two of the Mario 2 and 3, and there's some others there. Just on the Nintendo stuff, not counting the console, the games alone in that, in that group right there uh, have sold comps of $346. There's 21 games. So there you go. I spent $416 on everything you're about to see. Okay, now we're going to get into N64. And there is a console in this too, and that goes for about 109. You got Mario Party 3. I'm flipping the page because I've got notes on this stuff, so I don't have to re-research it. Uh, Mario Party 3 uh, is worth between 65 and 105 dollars. Uh, then you got Yoshi's Island. That's a uh, 30 dollar game. NFL Club Madden is not worth much. Uh, Perfect Dark is worth uh, 23. Mario Party 2 is worth 52, and then Mario Kart 64 is about a $43 game. And the console's about 109, and I've got that. I've got the Rumble Pack, that's about 20 bucks. And then I've got a red, green, and a blue controller. Those are all in that 25 range. And then the Game Boy Super, this adapter um, that goes into that top loader, uh, goes for, um, Oh, what was it? Uh, I've got it written down again. 34 for the adapter, free shipping. And then the Pokemon game that's in it is a Game Boy um, game. That's 35 to 55. Okay. And then he threw in, I'm going to jump off this, but the R2-D2, it's a Sparrow. And used, they're 60 bucks new. It's uh, 143 That was thrown in as part of the deal. And now I'm going to come over here and I got a bunch of Nintendo and none of the Nintendo is worth a ton of money. Um, one of these games that, uh, was it Arkanoid? I think that's a pretty good game, uh, value wise. Then there were three cartridges here that are loose. One of them is Pokemon white. That's a $70 game right there. The white version. And then there's the red controller. Okay. There's the 64 system. And then there's Inbox Kim Possible 3. Um, two DS lights. I don't think they work properly. A DS2 and a 3DS XL. That's $185 right there. Um, so in this whole bundle deal, I'm going to come back over here because there's also a, I'm moving around because I got this stuff everywhere. There's the uh, Super Nintendo. So in the whole deal, when I got through, I spent four sixteen. The sole comps on this bundle deal is eighteen hundred and thirteen dollars. That's correct. So, yeah, thanks, my friend. Uh, I told him to come to my yard sale tomorrow, and I will take care of him as well. He did me a solid, and I appreciate that. So, there you go. I hope you enjoyed that. That's a lot of games, cartridge games. Now, the transparency part is everything's got to be tested. He did say it worked, except for the two DS lights. And I've got to clean all these games because a lot of them don't have protective cases and they probably need it. So we're going to check it all out. We're going to get it all listed sometime in the, during the week. And uh, I'll post my link in my videos if anybody's interested in the games. Uh, but yeah, there's some solid money here. Now the rest of it I spent 140 on. I will uh, come back to you on here in just a second. Actually forgot the Super Nintendo. Super Mario World, Super Mario Kart, Bulls vs. Blazers, NBA Playoffs, Yoshi's Island, and NBA Jam Tournament Edition. That is included in the uh, 1800 that I gave you. On those uh, games, uh, the one that's the most valuable is Yoshi's Island. That's a $42 game. Uh, Kart's worth uh, 32 World is 25 and uh, NBA Jam Tournament is 18 and of course, uh, the Bulls one is about 11 bucks. So, hey, I'll take it. All right, we're gonna get into everything else. Again, this will be about 140 and 
expenditure. I had never seen these Nikes before. I pulled up the SKU code. I did not find them. Apparently, they're limited edition. Uh, if anybody knows about these, let me know. I um, I took a chance. I tried to get them for eight dollars, and she wanted ten, and that's what I paid. They are in good shape, but I've never seen these before, and uh, they do need some cleaning. So I'll take care of that. Um, I got two putters at a church sale. One is a ping. And I paid 10 for this one. It is a ping, uh, was it answer? A-N-S-E-R. That could go over a hundred bucks. And I'm gonna re-research that one. And then I gave five for this one. And this is an Odyssey uh, Force 2, number two, CS. And I gave five for that. And that one is probably 40, I think, or so. And again, I'll re-research them before I list them. I always do a double uh, check on that stuff. I gave four for the Jordan, and it looks like it's brand new, but it's pretty cool. That may be a used size, but that's okay. Um, I gave 15 for this. There are a couple of versions of this 40th anniversary Boba Fett, and this is not an old one. It's from 20, I think, 19, no, 2020. Um, on the bottom end, it was about $35, so I'll make a little bit, maybe 20 bucks on this thing. But on the higher end, there was some that, that are similar, but they go for well over 100 So, And new on car is the reason I bought it. I got three of these noisemakers. I always do good with boppets, and I paid a buck a piece for these. I got three of them. Two of them are the same, and uh, I checked them. They all work. Of course, one of them won't work when I tell you it didn't. But boppets do well. Um, I've never seen those two. I have seen these and I've seen the ones in red, but I'm not good at it. But I, again, so now they're going to make noise while I'm talking because I activated them, right? And I'm getting away rid of the stuff first that I got outside of the $40 estate sale. Two of these, I guess they're some kind of a LOL surprise dolls. I did pay three a piece for these. Looks like I can get my money back easily on those. And I, she wanted 30 for this, and I got it for, it's a mesh. I got it for 25. It is a Harley Davidson mesh jacket with pads inside. And, uh, all right, dude, shut up. I'm going to sleep. Yeah, I'm going to sleep, too, if you don't get off me. All right, or shut up, anyway. Uh, but anyway, yep, there you go. And I believe this is a medium to a large, probably a large, but it's a mesh thing, and I gave 25 for that. It's probably the single highest item uh, outside of everything else that I got at the with the video games. Foot Joys, and they need cleaning. I uh, gave three for these. These are golf shoes, and they got a lot of dirt and grass on the bottom, so I'm not going to do too much with them or I'll end up with a problem. Um, I got this whole bag for six bucks. And a Pokemon comic book, uh, which I'm not seeing handily, but there's a lot of figures in here. And I think a lot of this stuff has got to do with Mario. And then there's some Monster High dolls. Um, Faith, you can help me out here. I don't know that one, but I'll look them up. She's kind of creepy. Not that most of them aren't. This one's all kinds of everything. But again, I gave six bucks for everything. This one's a Five Nights at Freddy's, but he's missing an arm, and I was digging around looking for him. Here's another one of those Mario figures, I guess. Another Monster High doll. And I'm going to be a broken record. Oh, I just realized she's missing part of her arm, so that'll kill that value. Um, the plush. Uh, whatever that guy is. I think probably some kind of a Batman thing, my guess. Um... I don't know what that is, but they were basically a quarter a piece. And anything that isn't comp out is, is fairly valuable. I will, um, I have a grandson's and they would probably want that stuff. I think that's a Ryan toy and he's definitely, or used to be big into Ryan. I don't know if he still is. Um, some more of that stuff. Five Nights at Freddy's. And then I saw all the Mario figures. I had to have the Mario figures. Yeah, that's definitely uh, 
uh, plant, I think that Plants vs. Zombies, or is that, I think so. Uh, more Mario. More Mario. Um, whatever that is, and that one has a partner, because there's something smaller in here that's similar. I believe that's Ryan as well. Um, whatever that is. Luigi. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, that's Five Nights at Freddy's for sure. Um, Mario. That's cool. That's definitely staying with me. And is that Wario or whatever? And then, oh, there's that other blue figure. Whatever that is. Anybody know? Let me know. And then some old 2012 Hot Wheels stickers. She just threw those in, but hey, I spent six bucks on that bag. And, um, a lot of that I'll be keeping or giving away. I don't think there's anything in there super valuable. The Monster High Dolls and the uh, LOL Surprise. I also got a bag of them somewhere, and now I've made a mess. All right, there's the Pokemon book. I'm not sure what that's valued at. It, is. it says number one um, by Capcom, and it's 19... It's 90s, so, yeah, I don't know. I'll figure that out. But that's part of that six dollar deal i paid uh two bucks a piece for these and they're trolls new with the tags there's two of them i got that one and i paid two for him he's in really good condition i have another version of this a little bit smaller but it's space jam okay and uh toon squad bugs bunny two bucks in really good condition um that's the reason i grabbed him and then there's the other troll Okay, two bucks a piece, and plush is plush, right? I gave two for this one, and I don't know. This one's also new with tags, and this is Build-A-Bear Workshop, but it is a unicorn, and I guess it's a bab, whatever. Oh, I didn't know it. <laughs> okay, I didn't know I did that till just now, so... I learned with y'all. Um, I gave a dollar for this Callaway pullover uh, golf jacket. I got interrupted. Okay, a dollar. I gave five for this one. It is a denim Riviera Hotel and Club uh, Vegas jacket. There you go. And uh, it's a large, and I gave five for that. And I gave 75 cents for everything in the bag. These are two Boyd's Bears. They were 10 cents a piece. Um, that's a 2010 one. Um, there's another thing, uh, Spice Mice, whatever that is. This is 1995 Yogi. Hey, boo boo. Hey, boo boo. There you go. And uh, we come with animation, folks. There's another Boyd's Bear. And these are all new with tags. And I mean, 10 cents? Come on, folks. And then this one. And who doesn't like finger puppets? I could come up with something on that, a quarter. And then you gotta have a frog that sticks to your window, right? I mean, ribbit, ribbit. Okay. Don't need them in your pool. You need them on your window. In your car. In your car. All right. And let's see what else I got here. Oh, this was part of that $6 deal with those figures. And uh, there you go. It's not an old one, but it is from ne Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And this one is 2015. But he is big, and he was basically a quarter. He was in that $6 bundle, so I don't know what he's worth. If you know, let me know, because if not, I'm glad to look him up. And then at that church sale, I also got this for 50 cents. Number 60, color, uh, ink, and I'm sure that's worth more than 50 cents. So there's what I got there. Okay, now we're going to get into the first sale I went to today. Um, oh, wait a minute. The LOL surprises. I gave four for the bag of them. And that goes with those other dolls, the bigger ones, but these are the little mini ones. And there you go. I don't know if that's worth it, but I take chances. 
Okay. Um, I take that back. He was also in that. This is a Pokemon plush. Paul, if you know who that is, or Jen, if you watch, uh, tell me who that is, because I don't have a clue. Um, Easton Corbin, I gave a buck for that ball cap. I got that with the Jordan hat. And again, that's modern country. I don't know him, but I know the name. And uh, there you go. All right. The estate sale I went to. If you heard me in my video, I saw it this morning, uh, about 4 o'clock in the morning. That's why I couldn't go back to sleep because I saw the ball caps. I got to the estate sale. And uh, not to keep this long, but... It said, don't come early, and it starts at 8. Well, I'm out at 6.30, already yard selling. At 7.30, I had to run to the little boy's room. Uh, coffee, you know, and it works. And, uh, yeah, T TMI, I know. And, uh, anyway, I get there about 7.30, 7.35, and the doors are open, and I see a couple of people moving around inside. I'm thinking, they've opened the doors early, because it happens all the time when people say, uh, starts at 7, and at 6.30, there's people running around buying stuff. So that's why I'm early. If you want to get there early, you better get there earlier than early, all right? So I get there and there's one car waiting. I get out because that's the way I do it. I get out and I ask the lady, hey, are y'all open? She goes, nah, not really, but you can go ahead and go look. And I said, well, I, I saw the photos of the ball caps. That's what I'm after. And I saw John Deere and I saw some other caps that I'm gonna show you. And then uh, the gentleman was in the car, he gets out and he starts walking up. Now I'm the one in the house. And she says, I'll show you where they're at. And uh, he said, hey, are you open? Um, and she goes, not really, but go ahead and look. And he goes, well, I'm after the ball caps. And I, and I heard him as I was going in the door. Now, yes, he beat me there, but hey, I was in there first because I got out of the car and asked, okay? When we got inside, I could hear him yelling behind me, hey, I was here 15 minutes ago, okay? I'm sorry. I get there. He grabs the John Deere cap first. First thing I see is I grab the Bob Wheels and the Texas Playboys because I haven't seen that one in a while before. And I know he's a little frustrated, but he didn't say anything else. And I said, typically people pass on ball caps, so I thought I was going to be first. And um, and I would have been here a long time ago had I known that. But I, he, said, yeah, he said, well, I, I got the John Deere. And I was like, and he looks at the snap, and I said, is it K Products? He said, yes, it is. It wasn't a three striper, but it's still a valuable ball cap. And that's okay. And I was I was fine with that. I wanted the ones I was after, and I'll show you what I got. Um everything was priced, and it was priced reasonable. It was a family run estate sale, and I wished I could have spent more time. But at the end, I ended up just saying, Will you do a bundle? Because when you see how much stuff I got, um, I hope you got a beverage and you're sitting down with your snacks and dinner and you're watching because I've got a lot of stuff. But I made a deal. This is a Carhartt vest. She had $3 on it. And when it was all said and done, I gave. I said, w would you just do a bundle? Because I don't know. You know, you want to go through all this stuff. There's a lot of little stuff. And she said, yeah, that'd be great. Because there was a lot of people coming at her. And she was the only one there with her son. Her sister hadn't shown up yet. She said, uh, what are you thinking? I said, how about 40 bucks for all of it? And she said, that's what I was thinking. So 40 bucks for everything you, you just saw the vest. This is a John Deere shirt. And again, it's in horrible condition, but you can see on the back how old this thing is, okay? And I'm gonna wash it and clean it up as best I can. It's actually in horrible condition and it may not be salvageable. Um, now that I'm looking at it, it's got some rips, but it's got I'm still gonna list it. I'm gonna get it stitched up and I'm gonna clean it up as best I can and list it and see what I can get out of it. Um, when I went in the garage, I saw this and I'm gonna have to put my glasses on for this one. This is one of them kids bats, but you can tell it's really old because it's got a St. Louis, is that a St. Louis Cardinal? It's either a Cardinal or a Red Sox. No, it's a Cardinal. St. Louis Cardinals, and if anybody recognizes him without me looking him up, there's his photo on this bat. And I've never seen one like that. They had some other wood bats, but they had no markings on them. Um, it is St. Louis. And I believe it's Stan Musial. I'm pretty sure it's Stan Musial. So I don't know what that goes for, but that's part of the $40 bundle deal. And you're going to hear me say that over and over again. Um, 
Again, this was marked at five, but it's part of the $40 bundle. It's new on card. It is a Sharp Auto Reverse uh, JC508. And again, I don't know what it's worth. I would have paid the five. But for sake of time, I didn't. Um, this is a Canon Photo Tura camera. Okay. And they had that marked at a dollar. And again, it's part of that bundle. This, oh, I got that at another sale. Come back to that. More video game stuff, I forgot. They had two of these, and these are Bell Telephone, uh, Singular, Southwestern Bell. And if you remember these, hey man, I'm in the car, I'm on the way. Yeah, yeah. Hey, don't, don't call the cartel, I'll be there with my order soon. Yeah, yeah, if the speedboats don't get me. Yeah. Okay. Okay, man. I've been watching a lot of Queen of the South, so kind of, kind of sounded like I needed to be part of that. Um, film. Okay. This film, this kind of stuff, when you find these Polaroid Instamatic type stuff, land camera, you need to buy that stuff because that'll go for about 20 bucks. Uh, these are Kodak compacts and I don't, and again, I just grabbed them because of the price that was on them. Um, this one is a, is a disposable, um, it expired in 06, okay? And again, it's all part of that deal. There's a second one, same, same situation. Um, hey, uh, Amber, happy birthday. Here's a troll too. And it's a kid vid from, uh, well, I can't read that date, but he's old. Um, I grabbed one eight track. I saw this, the Sun Sessions Elvis. Again, don't know the value. It was part of the deal. Again, here's another one, black suede men's cologne. Didn't know the value, but it's new in box. And uh, there you go. May not be worth much of anything, but in these kind of situations where you can bundle, I'm gonna grab stuff that's especially in the box. Um, she had a lot of, he had a lot of OU sports memorabilia. And this is Barry Switzer, uh, 15 years of champions on VHS. And I grabbed that as part of the deal. I grabbed a lot of vintage of uh, that type of stuff. Bootleggers Boy, I got two copies. Bootleggers Boy is the story of Barry Switzer growing up in Arkansas. And two copies, those are, those are fairly decent books to get. Um, I also got two copies of Jim Week's book, The Story of the Oklahoma Sooners, and this is vintage, okay? And again, Oklahoma football. And when I was a little boy, I was a Sooner fan. So during that time frame, I got some more cologne. This is like the sample of Giorgio Beverly Hills. Again, I don't know what the value of that is, but we will soon find out. Um, here is a ball cap. And, it's, and all these need cleaning up. It is a Bob Wills, the Texas Playboys. Um, it's a, by KC, which is a fairly common um, maker of caps. So that's one of them. Uh, the other one is vintage as well. And this is Samsung is the maker. And it is Hank Thompson. And that's definitely classic country on a kind of a multicolored Hawaiian style type thing uh, without the flowers, of course. Um, two of these, and again, these are Instamatic type cameras, and they're the Max, Kodak Max, and uh, two pack. And this is actually, is this film or a camera? No, it's, it's cameras. Okay, so again, that's part of that deal. Uh, Big Red, this is a OU. Could also be confused with Nebraska. But uh, that's definitely a vintage ball cap. And you can see that whole thing on the back. And again, I paid 40 for all of it. Uh, the gnome bobblehead for OU. And you can see she had marked it at two. And I apologize for keeping it long, but again, I saw something. This is probably not worth anything, but it is very old and it's still on card. It is a, I mean, who doesn't want a cool wristband wallet? I mean, come on folks. This is uh, really old. Yeah. Cool cigarette. Still on card. 
Um, I know this has value because I wear this. Obsession. Cologne for men. Um, these are Boomer Center pins, and I believe these might be cross. I'm going to check because I've got the, the original top to the, to the box. A 1974 OU medallion. And there you go. And it's got a little stand to display it that it was on. Um, those are Garland pins, not cross. Um, another vintage Sooners hat. And it's really old. And man, it's old. This originally cost $2.50 uh, back in the day, I think in 1978. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, there's the stand, the uh, metal goes on, or the medallion. Um, this is a lighter. It is C.L. Boyd uh, Company here in Oklahoma City on a Zippo in the box. And they're a construction company. Uh, a lot of backhoes and construction equipment. Oh, wait. Another phone call coming in. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, you got my van res reserved? Uh-huh. Maui? Yeah, I'll be there. Yep, in July. You don't have room for the puppet? AJT, hey, you don't get to go. Oh, okay. All right, yeah, I'll pay you 100 to bring him. Yeah, okay. All right, thanks. Hey, JT's going again. All right. And finish it up. Oh, wait a minute. I guess I'm not. Um, vanilla mat, um, vanilla musk. I was gonna say there's no vanilla mask cologne. And jupe. This is a sample size, I guess. And again, I gave forty for all this. And now the caps. The rest of the caps. Another Bob Wills, similar to the other one. This one is eighty niners five alive. I got a buddy down in South Oklahoma that buys all my uh, affiliate caps and. Uh, He's definitely going to want that vintage cap. And uh, another Bob Wills, Turkey, Texas. That's right, Turkey, Texas. And then another Bob Wills, Turkey, Texas. So, again, those need cleaning up. They were sitting for a while. And um, I spent 40 on on that. And then I paid. She wanted uh, 20 and I got this for 15 It is a DS Lite with all this stuff. And some games. The games aren't very valuable. I'm looking at them right now, and I don't see anything that's of value. But, hey, 15 bucks for a DS Lite with the earbuds and, and all that kind of stuff. And charger, car charger. So, yeah, that's what I spent all that money on, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sorry I kept you so long. But, hey, I got to show you when I buy it. And um, now I got to get all this stuff sorted, work on it a little bit, and then... Around 6 o'clock, start setting up for a yard sale for tomorrow. Hope you folks, uh, yeah, had a good time. I know I did. It's a blast. And um, hang on a minute. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll be there. All right. Hey, tell everybody out there in TV land that I appreciate them. And uh, yeah. Yeah. On the news. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. All right. There you go. Somebody important. They're going to spread the word. Y'all have a great day. Cap Guy and JT will talk to you soon.